Hi, I'm Cindy Hanel. I'm a chef instructor here at Central Market and an avid angler. I do freshwater and saltwater fishing and I'm going to show you how to take care of your catch after you get it back in, uh, how to fillet your fish and then freeze it. Okay, I'm going to show you all how to fillet this red snapper. Uh, first, I'm going to get this loop de mer off my board because you really just want one thing on your cutting board at a time. Uh, Really important for filleting fish is a good fillet knife, a very sharp fillet knife, and the first inch of the knife from the tip is probably the most important part to be sharp, especially for filleting fish, because that's about all of the knife that goes into the flesh of the fish, is just the tip of the knife. You're more shaving the fillets off of the bone on a fish. You're not really cutting through the meat. You just want to sort of shave it off. So um, a very light touch, really, when you're filleting a fish. Um, I prefer this shape knife. Um, there are several different knives, as long as it's a flexible knife. That's great for filleting fish. This one's a little bit rigid, but it's going to work. So I'm going to start here at the top. And what I had the fish department do is go ahead and remove the scales just right here along that top fin so that the blade goes through a little easier when you first start the process. So you're feeling where the bones are with the tip of the knife as you bring it down the fillet. Um, this is one of the only knives you hold like this, not like this. I'm going to hold it like this and just bring the tip of that right down the, the red snapper. What I am going to do is hold the snapper with the other hand so that it doesn't move as I bring that knife down. So a little short motion. You're just trying to open it up right here. You're not trying to go too deep. And I usually have a towel or something handy or wipe the scales off of your blade on the tip of your cutting board there. So once you get it open where you can actually see the bone and see the flesh, then you can turn the fish and go a little bit deeper, just letting the blade glide along the bones. Just let the bones guide you. A little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. So once you've gotten to the medial bone, which is that round bone in the middle, the knife will sort of catch on it. That's when you have to go up and over that bone. So right here, I'm angled down so that I don't lose any meat on that top part. And then when I get to that medial bone, I sort of get the knife over it and then angle the knife down to the other side. OK, here at the tail, I'm going to go ahead and push the knife all the way through and release that. OK come right below that fin, okay, so just behind that fin, all the way down. Okay, so the medial bone is right here, the knife's going to come up and over it. Now it's going to be angled down. Now when you get up here to the, uh, to the belly, you're going to have to force the blade through those rib bones, so you sort of feel it going through those bones there. Once you have the fillet removed, then I'm going to stop and remove those rib bones. I'm just going to go at an angle. So you want to do sort of long strokes. If you do a lot of the little short strokes after you get into the flesh of the fish, you'll get these little shavings coming off, which as soon as you start to cook it, it's just going to fall away. So you want rather a whole fillet than a bunch of little shavings. After you've removed the filet, then you want to remove the skin. Now you do want to cook your fish with the skin on for uh, nutritional value. The omega-3s, which everybody's crazy about nowadays, are right here between the flesh and the skin of the fish. So if you cook it with the skin on, then take the skin off, you're getting a much more nutritious piece of fish. So I'm going to take this, the skin off now, just make a little notch there by the tail. Grab onto that notch and basically hold the fillet while the knife goes back and forth. That wasn't a very good job. I still have some skin on there. So I'll try on the other side to do a little better. Okay, that's if you want it skinless. Now before I cook this, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it because you can see the scales that came off. You don't want that in your fish when you cook it, obviously. Uh, bones either. A lot of people are uh, very wary of those bones as well they should be. And there's just a few right here along the bloodline. The bloodline's that dark red that runs there. And the bones, if you go against the grain or from head to tail of the fish, you'll be able to feel those bones. 
you just take and make a little notch. Take the bones out. And you've got a boneless, skinless fillet to cook. Now I'm going to fillet the other side of the fish, and we're going to zoom in a little closer so you can really see what the knife's doing. Okay, so I've already taken the fillet off the other side. We're going to take the fillet off this side of the snapper now. Um, I did go ahead and sharpen the tip of my knife uh, with the steel uh, between uh, sides so that it went through the skin easily. I'm pushing down again with the top of my hand to keep that fillet in place, angling the knife slightly down just above those bones there. Once I get to the medial bone again or in the middle, the round bone, I'll go up and over. So. You can go either direction. I prefer starting at the head, working the way to, my way to the tail, and then when I get to the tail, going ahead and cutting all the way through. But if you want to go back this direction, that's fine too. Remember, you're shaving the fillet off the bone. So you're feeling where the bones are with the tip of that knife and just coming straight down. And this one, of course, I'm angled down. So the medial bone is the round one there. Then when you come back here, go ahead and push the knife all the way through and come up towards the head. That'll break through those rib bones. And then we'll take it off of the carcass and go ahead and remove the rest of those rib bones. Yeah. Wow. OK, maybe I'll do the loop de mer too. So that, if you were still at the ocean, this would go back in, and all the little fish would eat that. I'm going to take the rib bones off here. Now some people like to go ahead and take the rib bones off while they fillet. I prefer to go ahead and cut through the rib bones and then once it's on my board, take those bones out. This time I'm going to leave the skin on because remember the omega-3s are between that skin and the flesh of the fish. So right in there, that thin layer. And of course you'll have to rinse it again because you've got all the scales coming off. What I did have them do is go ahead and remove the scales right along the, the dorsal fin here um, so that it's easier for the knife to go through. The bones again, you go from head to tail. You feel there's usually two or three more little bones there. Make that V notch. Take those bones out of the picture. And then you have a nice filet ready to cook. Okay, so you've learned how to fillet a fish. Now all you have to do is go out and catch your own. Um, lots of places in Texas, freshwater, saltwater, good resources for fishing. And if you catch your own, fresh is always best. It's going to taste better if you caught it yourself and you filleted it yourself. So go out and do some fishing. <laughs>